Thursday. Deadly Premonition Project? Project? Deadly Premonition? Hmm. I just noticed that. I mean, Sweary is a... Something. Because this is a... Complete and utter... Better lack of words. Cluster. Very strange. Especially all the weird things that go on in this game. Come on, there we go. Seen the intro many times. It, it doesn't change. <sighs> Load game. <laughs> I got $16,000 in my hand. I haven't spent it on anything yet. Episode 2, Part 2. Oh boy. Diane died. Part 2, Chapter 13. But Diane is dead. She did die. I'm Kason, Forrest Kason. Thomas, well, did you see Nick here? And Diane has died. No. When I got here, he was already like this. What are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! George, stay back. And of course, George didn't listen. Trying to speak. No. And then she got choked to death. Oh, please, no. You got us good this time. Oh, does it show, show Diane dying now? Should. What happened to Diane? Oh, she got killed by a tree. Literally, by a tree. And then we came back here. George told us about the scars on the back of his back. And I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going either. Hmm. Why did I just turn his flashlight on? Oh boy, this is gonna be an interesting day. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Music. We gotta go to the hotel. Okay. Let's just get back on the road and make a left. Okay. You're gonna get lost, aren't you? Yep. Pulling out. Ooh, that was almost hurt my head. Yeah, I'm still a little sick. Eh. Happens every year in fall. Ah. Ah, but I say, what is you? Turn the lights on now. Out my way, fool. Control it, York, control it. Ah. There's a card here somewhere. I'm getting out. I'm going to find this card in a moment. Well, try to find a card. Looks like it's on the back side. That does not look like it will get us to the back side. Freak was that? Can I kill these things? Huh. Wonder why I can't. Huh. Damn tree. <laughs> nope. York, you cannot get past that bush. That bush is evil. Hmm. You went there. Boom. Oh. Secret. Money, money, money. Can we look? Ooh, let's be a peeping Tom. Well, 
nothing exciting in here. But I uh, maybe that might be able to go. The pickles. You got a can of pickles. I'm really sure what that's for. Or why I should have to even peer into somebody's house. A freaking mouse? Does this sound like a monkey too? Boom. Eat P226. Ah. Agent York Morgan. Don't worry. This place is secure. What the? There's swings out here? Ooh, that's freaky. They're moving. Nope. Aha! We found the card! Probably for Polly! Nope. Forest. For Mr. Kaysen. Hmm. He's a little suspicious. Mr. Forrest Kaysen. Of course, there's a pier to go fishing off of, which I have not tried to do. I really don't plan on trying to fish in this game. What is that? Yeah. No. Nope. You want to get through? You have to aim down. Because he can't aim very far. He broke his arms and his mobility is impaired. What are you? Oh. Believe me, I know a good fishing spot when I see one. Trust my special agent is Agent York, you need to stop eating the Cheerios. They're hurting your mind. Where does this go? Secrets. And five dollar. Break it. We're on a secret way. You know where this goes? Not a chance. Da, 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 da. All right, now to go back to the front. <laughs> Damn squirrel! At least it didn't sound like a monkey. What the? I don't want to know what kind of hole that was. There's something in here. Hmm. That is weird. I mean, I play this game, but I have no idea what Sweary was trying to do with this game. I don't even think Sweary knew what he was doing with this game. The game just happened. Oh. Uh. I'm using my typewriter. Click, 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 click. I used the typewriter once, twice maybe, back in grade school, elementary school. <laughs> Nowadays, everything's laptops or Chromebooks. Zach, let's go over our progress. Really? We have to? From now? What Olivia told us, and the sketchbook we found at Becky's house. Nick and Diane became our primary suspects. There were a couple of reasons for this. First, Becky gave the missing locket to Diane. Yes, she did. Also, Nick has no alibi for when Anna and Becky were killed. We followed Nick to the art gallery, which led us, unfortunately, to our third victim. Diane. The third victim, Diane, was strung up in the entrance hall of the art gallery. Her hands were tied and a knife was sticking out of her chest. However, there was a was marked it? difference from the previous crimes. Do you remember what that was, Zach? 
Man, you're gonna ask me and I don't remember. That? That's right. Diane was still alive. This suggests that very little time had passed since the crime was committed. Which means the criminal was still close by. It was somewhere near the scene. Whoa. There are two possible candidates. Nick, who was knocked out in the entrance. And one other. Zach, who was the other person <laughs> in the gallery? Uh, it was, uh... Kaysen. No, Quint. Uh, I would say Quint, but we got Kaysen here. That's right. Kaysen. We followed Willie. Good dog, all the way to him. Good dog. <laughs> Kaysen's statement came out as follows. He and Diane were in a physical relationship. Of course they were. That was why he visited the gallery. The two were in the middle of such a meeting when Nick showed up. Diane lost her cool and shut Kaysen up in the basement. <laughs> now what did Kaysen hear when he was locked up? Footprints. <laughs> bam, bam. That's it. <coughs> the sound of boots passing by. Nick That's was wearing weird. boots that day. Which means it was likely that Diane met with Nick in her room. Nick said he argued verbally with Diane about her playing around with men, but they eventually decided to go out drinking to make up. Playing around with men. However, immediately Women. after that, Nick was attacked by someone in the entrance hall and knocked unconscious. So he says. We saw the rest. Zach, do you think that Nick is our serial killer? Yes. What the heck? Ah. Me too. Usher sent in a report too. <laughs> Usher. He found a large volume of red seeds in Diane's stomach. This confirms her as a victim of the raincoat killer. Someone pumped her full of remaining leads. Seeds. There is the locket, which is in Carol's possession. The man with the tattooed back, and the upside down peace sign. There's a lot left to answer. I hope the coffee will give us more guidance tomorrow. All hail the coffee. The coffee is life. Coffee is giver and taker. Zach, what did you think about George pouring his heart out? I was surprised. It's the end of a monarch. A little suspicious if you ask me. And he called me York instead of Agent Morgan. Hmm. You want to get shot? Come to the door. Whoa. Emily? That's a surprise. Emily, what's going on? Do you know what time it is? Um, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't sleep, so I was drinking alone. I got the thinking. Come in. My mother was a very kind woman. This is a strange song to start playing now. so brightly. Big cakes cookies every day. She'd say that I needed the sugar because I spent so much time thinking. <laughs> My father was always quiet. We never talked much. He was a federal agent, just like me. And he was hardly ever at home. The only words he ever had for me were harsh ones. I had a vivid imagination, and I remember he once said this to me. There are plenty of crazy things in this world. You don't have to go dreaming them up. And it's my job to make sense out of them. One day you'll understand what I'm saying. I found out later that my father was one of the first to ever use criminal profiling to catch bad guys. Huh. And so now I'm doing exactly the same job that he did. That's interesting. Like father, like son. Mm, can I ask you something? Shoot. Is you crazy? Mind if it's something personal? personal? Fire away. Fire away. Who's Zach? <laughs> <laughs> That's a little too personal. Zach is a friend of mine. Oh, he lives in so my head. you do have friends. Yeah. yeah. He's my, He's my friend. only friend. What kind of person is he then? Common speed. You'd like him. Well, I've never seen his face. But he's always with me, and we discuss everything. 
When did you become friends? A long time ago. Back when I was a child. Blam! Your dad I killed your mom. I woke up one morning to hear my mother crying in the living room. This wasn't normal, so I headed in to see her. My father was there pointing a gun at my mother. I was so scared. I closed my eyes. So I, I don't remember much more. Uh. But I do remember the words my father said to me. At times we must purge, purge things, things from, from this world, world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. When I came back to my senses, they were both dead. He shot my mother and then killed himself. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't worry Jeez. about it. Zach's with me. It was around that time that we became friends. I'm here. I'm with you. With you, he, he said. said. I'll be here always. We can get through this together. Quite aside from that terrible scene in front of me, that voice seemed to make me calmer. And here we are, working together, getting through things. This is the first time I've ever told anyone about this. <laughs> I wonder if Zack will get angry. <sighs> That's a sad story. And here I was just drinking. I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but... I'm sure there was a reason for what your father did. I know. I think maybe I became an agent to find out why he did what he did. Oh, oh yeah, York, I, I forgot to thank you. Thank, thank me? For what? For what? I was the same, thank me for what? You saved my life. I did? How? If you didn't save me at the gallery, oh. I would have died along with Diane. <sighs> No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. What did you just say? Useless? useless. <laughs> yeah. I was never. Oh God! The music is just that. a bad choice. Huh. Weary, I swear. You might be a modest guy in you after all. Finally, you noticed. You're a little slow, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe hopeless, <laughs> but not useless. Zack, do you think Emily got home safely? Did he not drive her home? Anyway, I think it's more uh, serious of a situation than I thought. And he's still he got two, cig two cigarettes in his mouth. I don't know how. conversation with Emily. <laughs> she's really interested in you. <laughs> I think she's starting to have certain feelings for you. If that's the case, Zack, you and I are rivals. This is a very serious situation in <laughs> You and I are rivals. Well, if it comes to that, let it be a fair fight. Agreed? Isn't this how most house fires started? People smoking in their beds, falling asleep, cigarettes falling out of their mouths or hands? That's Thomas! kind of how it is. Thomas! Thomas! Let me out of here! Come on! Please! What's with the distortion? Just for a moment. One second. I hate it in here, Thomas. I know you're there. Come on, please! Oh boy. Thomas! 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 XYZ. Thomas! 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 He needs a sedation. Definitely a sedation. Some sort. There's. What the heck? Okay. I am perturbed now. That is a little too weird. Uh,
Enemies defeated 206, and yet we still don't know who the killer is. Yay. And a spider woman. Hate her. Easy to kill, but I just hate her. Things start crawling around on the ceiling. That's just, that's, that's no good. That could take upside down enemies, but when they're on the ceiling, screeching, nah. Zach view. Previously during the investigation. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? York is leaving the bar. Wait! She's still alive. Stop right there, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted fall. murder of Diane Ames. Emily, attempted. hurry! You saved my life. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. Up, oh, we're back to doors. For what reason are we back to doors? Episode 3, 14, Tea Break. I will say, I do like the, the falling leaves. I do like that. Oh, Lord. Four doors. Well, first door in front of us. Let's do it. Goes to Christmas Pass. Oh, God. Hey, yeah. I don't know where I'm going. I'm going anyway. Ah. Who the heck them? Exactly. Who the hell is this person in my, my nightmare? You're lucky I can't pull something on you. Glock. But open this door. There is no turning back. Oh, you still want to enter? It's what his name? Um, God, what's his what's his face? Um, staying here. So says Mister Thomas. Um, Mr. Stewart. Stewart. That's little Zach. Or York. That's Mama. Carefully, boy. Boy. At times, we must purge things from this world. Got a little 38. Not exist, even if it means losing someone that you love. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he should have shot her. Scenes here. Uh. Why was that crucial in this, this scene all of a sudden? York is shot. I kind of forgot. No. Got a map in front of him? Or a newspaper? News, giant news. That's a giant newspaper. Mr. Holy Morgan, crap. do you want a refill? Of course. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> music. The music starts. <laughs> is the coffee that big, Mr. Morgan? <laughs> Coffee is a vital investigative tool. I know exactly what to do now. Harry. Who's Harry? It 
says to hurry. No. Oh. Hurry. And the first letter of each line is H A R R Y. Hurry. hurry to Harry. Looks like the time that he was talking about has come. Let's go pay the problematic rich boy who owns Harry Stewart a town a visit. Polly, I think I'm going to go see Harry today. Oh, really? He's a little strange, but I think he's the most trustworthy one around here. Got a gas mask I think on. you'll have fun with him. If you say so, Polly, then we probably will. Of Could you give me my dang coffee? Now, <laughs> give me your cup, and I'll give you some more coffee. Uh, no more. I've had enough investigative juice to I'll go. See you later, Polly. What about the coffee? Don't you want a refill? Your coffee! <laughs> I like my coffee. You've won. Casey. Oh, I'm going to make sure you burn in the electric chair. Mr. Really? Hey, okay, am I still a suspect? You. No. Yes. No. Okay, well, good. My you wife be. and I have been living separately for over three years now. Diane, she's a single woman, so this shouldn't be a problem. That's true. I feel so bad for Diane, though. Gosh, D did you find out who did it? It was just yesterday. I can't discuss that. Yes, of course. I, I understand. You don't have to tell the folks around town about me and Diane, do you? No, I won't do that. But it's a small town. I'm, I'm sure. sure the rumors have started already. Nothing to be ashamed of, right? What's there to worry about? Nothing in particular. No, nothing at all. <laughs> I'm clean. As clean as the sheets in this hotel. Good. What's with that look? We don't have a problem, right? The way he walks off. It looks like Kaysen is involved with another woman in town. We can only hope it isn't Emily. <laughs> that well, I mean, this is perceptive. I would have never. Did you walk down the hall? Did you just walk down the hall? And why is there a thing around your head? You. What's at the back of your head? Oh, I can take a walk right. Why? I'm not leaving town. Don't worry. You best not leave town. You leave town, I'm shooting you in the leg. You ain't gonna get very far. Holly? Oh, hi. Uh, rainy stripe, blue stripe suit. The design of this other suit looks like rain. Yeah, sure, why not? You know, what's it gonna hurt? I'm, it's not like I'm doing much else. Chaco bar, crackers, cheese. <laughs> that looks like pizza. It does not look like cherry pie. And that don't look right. Uh, no, I hit R. I hit R. Okay. I'm gonna go shoot somebody now. Or at least I'm gonna try to shoot somebody now. I don't even know what time of day it is. They just said, hey, walk out. Uh, you okay, Emily? Oh. York, I can't find Thomas. Was he here? No, I haven't seen him. Have you Why tried would to he be you? here? I've been trying, but he's not answering. <sighs> what about Nick? No problem with him. He's calmed down a little. He's yes, still he saying he didn't do it. Of course. Nick said that Thomas disappeared sometime during the night. He kept calling for him, but Thomas stopped responding. I I'm a bit worried. George has asked for permission to search for Thomas. I understand that things have been hard for Thomas, but surely he's just resting at home. Let's go find but out. I'm not against looking for him. Tell George that he has my blessing. Okay. As far as I know, Thomas always calls in when he needs a day off. We're human, and so we are limited. As far as you know, there haven't been any serial killings here before, right? 
That's <laughs> right, but that's not... Emily, I'm going to see Harry today. You want to come? Why? We have plenty of other leads to follow, don't we? He did invite me over, though. It would be bad manners not to accept. Are you really an FBI agent? I think the FBI would take a more logical approach to investigations. Oh, but Emily, serial killer does not stay within the boundaries of logic. True. Thus, Very true. Thus, I hope to capture such a killer using only logic. That's why I'm going to see Harry. You go with Didn't George I just put a cigarette up? Okay, sounds like a plan. Great, thanks. Ugh, I was an idiot for thinking you might be a good pick. I really need to work on my taste in men. <laughs> Why does she look like she was skulking off? I mean... Oh, God. 5,000 yards. Oh, my voice is going to die in this time. Between 8 and 9 o'clock. And it's 9 o'clock. But I'm already well fed and we have gas. Alright. I'm going to go to the bathroom and then come back. Because I definitely have to use the bathroom. And my voice is definitely starting to go again. Zach, did you want to go somewhere before we visit Harry? That's fine by me. I just don't want to run the battery down. You're fine, Tanner. Yeah, okay. I mean, you can come chilling here. And go back on the couch. Beep, beep. Sheriff. Spy fiction. 
All right, so how? Oh. This map is horrendous. That's a short Morgan. Where am I going? I gotta go see Harry Stewart. Who's somewhat really? Holy crap. How the hell do I get out there? I just stay on January? I guess so. There's the book barn. <laughs> How'd you know it was the book barn? Trust me, I've been here too long. So I gotta get to January. Oh my god. <sighs> well, to January we go. <laughs> Zach, we've ended up with the third victim. That dive I made at the gallery ended up being a wasted attempt to save a life. It's a real mess, Zach. Dive. When's the last time I made a dive like that? <laughs> oh, I remember. Do you? Well, I was in my late teens. We used to go to those concerts. You and I like punk rock, but we like different types of punk. You liked hard and heavy punk, like Crash and Sham 69. I like the more twisted ones, like the damned Buzzcocks, Iggy Pop, and Joy Division. We used to talk for hours about the bands we really liked, but for some reason, neither of us listened to the Sex Pistols. I wonder why that was. Seems strange thinking about it now. I mean, how'd that have to do with the dive? I'm on low. It looks easier to control on the, on the actual screen. On my screen, it's like, ah! <laughs> We're almost to January Street, I think. I think. Why are there cop cars here? Damn you, Sweary! Alright, so where am I at now? I think I'm on January. Or February. December, I don't know. Fifty-five. We're maxed out. <laughs> you know what? There was one band that we both liked. We went all the way to New York to see them play. Right, Zach? It took us hours to get to New York by bus. We got to the CBGB and we were so nervous we couldn't go inside. It took us 30 minutes to gather enough courage to go inside. And inside, we were shocked. Right, Zach? I'll never forget that feeling. It was like a Blitzkrieg. What band did they go see? Blitzkrieg Bop. Oh, the Ramones. The Ramones. <laughs> that song still makes me feel good. And that's a sign of a classic. Blitzkrieg Bop. But it's amazing I got in without being asked for ID. <laughs> Those were the good old days. Rock and roll high school and Chinese rock. Sheena is a punk rocker and surfing bird. And I was so depressed when I heard the news of the deaths. Original punk is one of the greatest gifts left from the 20th century. Let's hope they're still rocking on wherever they are. It's a little bit too weird for my taste. 40 minutes in. Harry! 
Open the door. But we're gonna save first. My luck, I'll enter the door and it'll crash. Eventually, I need to change the suit. I think it's getting dirty. Mr. Stewart! Is that a camera up there? What the heck? Mr. Morgan! Mr. Francis York Morgan, <laughs> finally you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. <laughs> Why? Why did I have that feeling? <laughs> I had a feeling it was the same. Mr. Morgan. That clock is... How many seconds are... Nothing's going to... Alright, well I guess we go through this door. Mr. Harry Stewart. Uh oh. Mr. Francis York Morgan, Mr. Stewart has been waiting for you. To the meeting room you shall go to. Huh. Welcome to Resident Evil, apparently. The meeting room is through here. Please be kind. Be sincere. Huh. And he smiles. That was a little weird. Michael, what is going on here? Place is a little weird. I'm going home. Definitely number three, Eroica, Fate, Pastoral. Of oh, the most of the musical or these three are the only ones left open. Harry did this, it must have a meeting. Oh, I don't know. Maybe he did it just to, you know, make you die. Save again, cost me a dollar. Yeah. Is this the meeting room? There's a bed. <laughs> There's a shave. We're not shaving. Nope, nope, nope. We're keeping the beard. York looks fantastic with the beard. We're keeping that. Umbrella for guest room number five. Oh, I'm taking an umbrella. It rains. I need an umbrella. Never good to not have an umbrella. Guest room number seven? Take, we're taking guest room number six. Michael's gonna come out. Who took all the umbrellas? Don't worry about it, Michael. I was just taking umbrellas because you never know when it rains. Especially in this area, it rains a lot. Oh, that's a cool one. I like the red. Sleep, shave. Nope, 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 nope. Aya. What is this? High quality beef. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna put it in the toolbox. <laughs> oh, I wanted that. Da Guest room number two, a blue umbrella. Is there any reason why you're collecting umbrellas? Nope. No idea. But you never know with this game. Harry might go, hey, did you collect all my umbrellas? And then you have to go yes or no or have to do it. I don't know. Take it. Ooh, I can change my suit now. Suitcase. Alright, so it's looking a bit dirty. Yep. I have that one for some. That one looks really sharp. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna change. We're gonna change into blue stripes. 
And we're going to send this one out to be clean. Eight bucks. Yeah, yeah, I know. 24 hours before it comes back. Oh, look at that one. That one looks pretty nice. I like it. Uh... My gun case. What do you need your gun case for? I don't know. I don't have a gun, so... Well, no, I do have guns, but... I'm not trying to change them out anytime soon. So can I do something with this now? Or not? Three, five, and six. I don't know. Okay. I had to give them something. Eh, maybe I'll find out after I get kill Harry. Hey, yeah. This SOB. Oh my god. I knew there was something. God dang it. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Who are you? What was it? Three, four, and six or something like that? I don't know. Here, take this. Oh. His eyes look green. That was free. Kind of scary. Zach, something is still missing. We need more clues. <sighs> okay. Or was it three, five, and six? Uh, so three, five, and six. I knew there was a reason why you needed umbrellas. <laughs> Click. Mr. Morgan, you have solved my riddle. Prepare to die. You expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. <laughs> Take the mask off, Harry. Can you speak on your own? Michael, you brought tea. If it's not coffee, I don't want it. Take it away. Mr. Francis York Morgan, please have some tea while it is hot. Too much coffee for your body will make it rot. I'm sorry. You Coffee's well what I prepared. Like. Almost as though you knew I would be coming today. <laughs> Mr. Stewart is particular about the best timing for all things. Now please, drink some tea and enjoy the good health it brings. I'm sorry, Harry, but I just don't like tea. I just don't like tea. That is my bad. You bring me coffee, we're good. Mr. Francis York Morgan. Mr. Francis York Morgan. <laughs> Every time. Some tea with sugar is what's best admired. By your body that looks so tired. So says Mr. Stewart. <laughs> What's Tea with sugar. What the? Harry. Where did, you, where did you get these seeds? Oh. Ah. Where'd you get these seeds, Harry? Or I will put a bullet across this table and kill you. Mr. Francis York Morgan, those seeds were found in our town in a certain specific place. More seeds are there, you will see, when you find that certain space. Come back to me and we shall talk, after you find that certain place. So says Mr. Stewart. What are the things in his neck for? Harry, so you like to play games? <laughs> Mr. Francis York Moore, a hint for you to find this location. It is most crowded and most quiet, and gives a cold sensation. So says Mr. Stewart. Crowded, quiet, cold sensation. All right. So you're not going to talk unless I find this certain place. 
Oh. I have a feeling I know where it is. Cold, it's crowded, but it's quiet. And it's cold. A graveyard. It's crowded, but yet it's quiet. And it's cold. Definitely a graveyard. <sighs> the seeds are that of dead bodies. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. Uh, can of tomato sauce. Because eating a can of tomato sauce will brighten your day. Do, 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 do. The treasure hunt began. I mean, the treasure hunt was pretty plain and simple. A crowded place, and yet it is very quiet there. Have you figured it out, Zach? I have. Cemetery. Must be the graveyard. Or graveyard, There's cemetery, graveyard. There, but none of them can speak. You see? So let's get going to the graveyard. And it gives a cold sensation when you think that the ghosts are around to murder you in your sleep. Episode 3, number 15, Red Sea. Red Rum, Red Rum. Ow. How did we get gas all of a sudden? Is this an electric car? We're going that way to the graveyard. Well, so Zach, about Emily. My first impression when we met her on that bridge is slightly different from what I think about her now. Don't you think she's pretty mesmerizing? I mean, she's Zach, a typical girl. She seemed interested in you. Did you make a move on her? <laughs> no, answer, I'm just asking. But if you like her, I won't stand in your way. Go for but it. But I'd like to hear the truth. Because this kind of stuff could affect our friendship, you know. Me? I'm just interested in her, that's all. It isn't love or anything. From what I can tell, she doesn't even seem to like me. It's pretty clear from how she acts when she's around me. As you know, Zach, I'm cautious with women. It's because I was badly burned in my last relationship. I really have no idea what women are thinking. That's my problem. Who You're pretty nice for this. friendly with the ladies, aren't you, Zach? Maybe you should teach me about how to interact with women. I don't know about that, bro. I mean, you're talking to your head, so I, I have no idea. Oh, we should go that way. It's the bond. Yeah, we'll go that way. Yeah, we'll go that way. Bone. Bone. Beep. 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 Out my way, traffic cones. Get. Ow, 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 ow. Rip, rip. Up, slow down. It does the speed up, slow down thing. Where's this dog at going? Woof, 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 woof. Ah, uh, over here. Beep. Just slam into it. Bam. Let's make a human body. Not my human body. I don't so know who. We're supposed to play along with Harry's little game, remember? I know. I'm with you on that. I don't like being played with either. But we've got three victims now. And we need to prevent that number from becoming four. No, no. You have three victims. I have zero. We could have stopped this very easy. Just shoot this everybody in the village. To the case, but shouldn't I let someone know? Where the other dog noise come from? You wanna fight? Damn dog. Vroom vroom. Really? Now well, there should be a phone at the graveyard, so I'll get to the phone, I'll save it, and I'll probably be the end of this for the bit until tomorrow. 
Cause I gotta get up early in the early this morning. Ugh. Don't want to get up early, but I gotta get up early and do some stuff. Go to work. Anyway, Zach, there aren't many young women left in this town. Even Emily could be targeted next. We can't rule that out. All the more reason to catch the raincoat killer ASAP. Uh, raincoat killer ASAP. Save Emily, because she's the only girl left around. Uh, go left. All right. The sound of the engine just like Bleh. Huh. I don't see a phone. A place to sleep. Hmm. Thought there'd be a phone to save it, but apparently not. It's weird we didn't think this far ahead. It's like people will will play this game for a long time. And not expect a phone save. I mean, there should be a phone up here, but apparently there's not. So. York, you're getting your, your nice loafers. Just as Harry Disgusting. said, it's crowded and quiet. Hmm. The heck is that? Hey, Brian. Brian. Agent. Mr. Agent, how are you? Oh, uh, not bad. I'm uh just playing a little game with Harry. Game? Have you seen any red seeds? A game. Oh, Jared Leto. Is that fun? We've only just started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. The sky's gone crazy. In the graveyard that drops red seeds. Seeds. Red seeds. Red seeds. That? That tree does. Prepare to kill and it. That uh, and that one too. All huh. red seeds. Huh. I was here before, didn't notice that. Now I'm here and I have to kill things. Uh, Brian. Fry? Oh, well, it's not a fry green. I was gonna say fried green tomatoes. This is evil time. But I am gonna save it here. This is about an hour in. And then I'll continue this tomorrow and we'll find out what these red seeds do. It's, I wanna know what to do. But, alright. Again, it's about 8 o'clock. Gonna relax and then do some other things and go to bed. So.